Hey there! Welcome back to CSS series. Today, we'll create a beautiful login form using HTML and CSS. The form will have a lovely background image and a cool transparent glass effect. It will consist of two input fields, one for the username and the other for the password, both adorned with icons. We'll also include a Remember Me checkbox and a Forgot Password text. To complete the form, we'll add a login button and a text for users who don't have an account yet. Let's get started. In the HTML file, we need a container div to hold the entire form. We'll give it the class name container. Inside this div, we'll place a form element with the heading login. Then, we'll create another div with the class input box to contain the input field for the username. Create an input field with the type set to text. We'll set the placeholder to username and also make this field required, meaning users must input something before submitting the form. Copy the code for the username input and paste it below to create the password input. Don't forget to change the type to password and update the placeholder accordingly. Next, let's add the remember me and forgot password section. Create a div element with the class name remember forgot. Inside this, put a label element. Within the label, insert an input tag with the type checkbox. Then, write the text remember me as the label's content. After the label, add an anchor tag with the text forgot password. The result includes a remember me text with a checkbox and a forgot password text. Now, we'll create a login button using the button element. The button has the text login. Finally, we need a line of don't have an account after the login button, so make another div with the class name register link. Inside this div, Create a paragraph element with the text don't have an account? After that, we need to add a link. Take an anchor tag with the text register. And that's it. We are almost done with the login form. The only thing remaining is to add icons for the username and password fields. Go to Google and search for Font Awesome CDN link. Click on the site that provides the Font Awesome CDN link and copy the code they provide. Now, go back to your HTML file and locate the head section. In this section, add a link tag and paste the copied Font Awesome CDN code here. This step ensures that we've added Font Awesome to our HTML file, allowing us to use icons in our form. Return to Google and visit the Font Awesome site. Search for the user icon and select the desired one. Copy the HTML code provided for the user icon. Go back to your HTML file and find the head section where you have the username input tag. After this input tag, paste the previously copied HTML code for the user icon. Similarly, search for the password icon on the Font Awesome site. Select this one. Copy the corresponding HTML code. Paste the copied code here after the password input tag for the password icon. This will add the icon next to the password field. With these steps completed, your HTML code is now finished. It's time to apply some CSS to make the elements look good. Open your CSS file and use the universal selector star to target all elements. Apply margin, zero, padding, zero, and box sizing, border box. This will make your form take up the whole page without any default margins and paddings. Set the font for the form using the font family property. Choose Montserrat sans serif as the font style. Now, link this Montserrat font from the Google Fonts site. Go to Google and search for Google Fonts. Open this website, search for the Montserrat font. Click on the Montserrat font to view all available sizes and styles. For each size and style you want to use, click on it to select it. 
Once you've selected all the sizes and styles you want, copy the provided code. Go back to your CSS file and paste the copied code at the top of the CSS file. By following these steps, you'll have added the Montserrat font to your CSS file, and you can use it for different elements. To center the form on the page, use the display flex property on the entire body of your HTML. Then, add the justify content center and align items center properties. Next, add a min height property of 100 VH. This will center the form both horizontally and vertically on the page. Now, let's add a background image. Use the background property and set the image's path using URL. The image name in my case is BG. To prevent the image from repeating, use background repeat, no repeat. Setting background size, cover, will make the image cover the whole page and background position, center, will keep it centered. Great, the image has been applied as the background perfectly. Now, we can proceed further. Let's style the form container. Copy the class name and paste it into your CSS. Specify the width of the container, for example, 400 pixels. Set the background to tomato and the font color to white. Apply border radius 10px to round the corners. Add padding of 40 pixels from all sides. Create a 3 pixel solid border with a white color and set the opacity to 0.2. For a nice effect, blur the container using the backdrop filter property with a blur value of 30 pixels. Additionally, add a box shadow of 0030px and copy the same color. Now, change the background color to transparent to see the result of the backdrop filter property. Let's style the heading and make its size 36 pixels. To center it, use text align center. Our login heading is at the center of the container and the font size 36px. In the HTML file, we have two input boxes, one for the username and the other for the password. To style these input boxes, copy the class name and paste it here. Set the position to relative. Make the width 100% so that both input boxes take up the entire width of the container. Set the height to 50 pixels and add a margin of 30 pixels for the top and bottom, while keeping the left and right margins at zero. Now, let's style the input tags that are inside the input box class, and set their width and height to 100%. Make the background color transparent, and remove the border and outline to eliminate any borders when clicking on the inputs. To apply the border, copy the above line and paste it below. Round the corners of the inputs using the border radius property with a value of 40 pixels. Increase the font size of the text inside these inputs to 16 pixels and set the text color to white. The color, white property changes the text color of the type text, not the placeholder text. Finally, add padding of 20 pixels for the top, 45 pixels for the right, 20 pixels for the bottom, and 20 pixels for the left to create spacing between the input text and the input border. To make the input text white, select the input tag and use the U placeholder pseudo element to style the placeholder text. Set the color to white. The color of the placeholder has now been changed to white. Now, let's style the icons. Select the icon using the I tag. Set its position to absolute so that we can control where it appears on the page. Place it 20 pixels from the right. Its position is in the top 50%. And use transform, translate y, minus 50%. The transform property will move the icon along the y-axis, and a negative value will move it in the upward direction. Also, increase its size to 20 pixels. Now, we will style this text. Go to HTML file. Copy the class name and paste it into the CSS. 
Use display a flex to create a flexible layout and justify content space between to align both text elements at the edges of the container. Set the font size to 14.5 pixels and apply a margin for the top minus 15 pixels. For the left and right its value is 0 and for the bottom its value is 15 pixels. In HTML, inside the remember forgot div element, there is an input element inside the label element. Select it by remember forgot then label and then input. Its color will be white and add a margin right 3 pixels. Additionally, within the remember forgot box, there is an anchor tag. Set its color to white and remove the underline using text decoration none. To add an underline effect when hovering over the anchor tag, use the hover pseudoplast with text decoration underline. When you hover over the forgot password text, an underline will be displayed. Now, let's style the login button. Select it by its class BTN and apply the following properties width 100%, height 45 pixels, background color white, border and outline none. Border radius, 40 pixels. The box shadow will be the same as above, but this time with an opacity of 0.1. Cursor, pointer for a hand shaped cursor on hover. Set the font size to 16px and the text color to black. The font weight will be 600. Take the container class and then go to HTML. Copy the class register link and paste it into the CSS. Set its font size to 14.5 pixels and text align to center. Add a margin of 20 pixels for the top, 0 for the left and right, and 15 pixels for the bottom. Now, let's style this register text. Currently, its color is blue. The anchor tag is inside the register link div tag and then the paragraph tag. So, select it by register link, then p tag, and then anchor tag. Color, white. Text decoration, none. And font weight, 600. Finally, our login form is ready and looks awesome. If you find this video helpful, please like, subscribe to my channel, and press the bell icon for future video updates.